Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. Let's get you out here a little ways where you can see me. <laughs> I wanted to show you some of the functions on this uh, camera. This is amazing. Um, I know you see me looking down at my phone, and I'm going to figure out a way to do this without having to look down at the phone all the time. But as you can see, I've got the remote set up for the camera now. I finally got it to click on the on. I finally got it to work with the uh, with the Wi-Fi setting that was on the phone, which is awesome. So let me show you actually how far away from the camera I am. There you go. Now you can see me in all my glory. <laughs> I have these pillows set up right here because it helps my arm and my neck to have my arm elevated. I don't have to wear the collar as long as I keep my arm elevated, which is nice because I get really tired of wearing that collar. Um, zoom you back in here. I love the operation of this uh, camera because I, it's so crystal clear. I have no lights on in the house at all at this point. I think you're a little too close to me. Wow, that's a little too far away. Come on, camera. One touch at a time. Come on. One touch at a time. Come on. All right. <laughs> anyway, it's going to take me time to get used to this new technology. New technology. But it will make my life much easier once I get used to it. I have no light on in the house at all. It's actually dark and snowing outside. I'm doing this video the same day I did yesterday's video where I was talking about exercising your jaws. Now, I want to make it very clear that chewing gum is a good thing, as long as you're not allergic to aspartame or whatever the, the sugar-free substitute they use. It's a great thing to do because you can, extra, you can learn how to bite. You can learn how to control your denture with biting and stuff like that because you can put the gum in between your front teeth and bite on it and learn how to get that learn how to control that bottom denture if you don't want to use adhesive the other thing is it teaches you where to chew if you want to chew on one side or the other it teaches you where to chew for example if I chew up close to the front of my denture on this side, it makes my bottom denture rock up. I've learned to chew further back on this side. On this side, on the other hand, if I chew further back, it makes the front lift, believe it or not. It lifts the front of my denture. So I have to chew closer to the front. So this goes along with exercising your jaws. Not only are you exercising your jaws, but you are also exercising your brain as to where to put the food to chew. Where do you chew? Where is it easiest? Where is it the best place to chew to keep that bottom denture in place if you're not using adhesive? It's all these things I've learned over the past four years to be able to function with my dentures properly. And I want everybody to be able to function with their dentures properly. I don't want people to tell me they can't do something because I hate that word can't. <laughs> now, understand that I do use denture fit in my top denture. It's a very, very thin amount of denture fit in my top denture because if I don't have denture fit in my top denture, by the end of the day, I have a headache in my top jaw. Literally, a headache. You notice how if you're, now most of us don't use pens anymore. We don't write anymore. I want you to do an exercise if you can. Sit down and just start writing. Just write. Grab a couple pieces of paper and just start writing. And you'll notice how atrophied your hand gets after about 15 or 20 minutes of just writing. I don't care what you write about. Write anything. Write a letter. Write a letter to yourself. Write down your thoughts for the day or something like that. Destroy it when you're done. I don't care. The point I'm trying to make is that as you write, you'll start to realize that 
after not a very long time at all, because we very seldom write. We text on our phones, we type on computers, and we very seldom write anymore. Your hand will be atrophied. Your, it'll start to go to sleep on you. You'll have to shake your hand off like this, and you'll, and you'll realize the next day your hand is kind of sore. It feels weird. It's, you don't know why, but it's a little bit sore. It's because you were holding a pen. We haven't exercised that part of our hands and those muscles for a very long time. We just don't do it anymore. Everything is too easy. Technology is too easy. Voice to text, you know, things like that. So we don't write very often anymore, and our hands will become atrophied from writing for 15, 20 minutes. Our, you'll notice you have atrophy. Your, your hand is not used to that. It goes with the same thing with your, with, with your jaws. You're not used to, if you had rotten teeth like I did, you're not used to eating steak and things like that. You're not used to chewing anything hard because... I ate soft food for 20 plus years because I had rotten teeth. I couldn't eat anything hard. It took a lot of practice, a lot of effort to build up the muscles in my jaws to be able to eat harder foods, chewier foods, thicker foods, stronger foods, foods with more elasticity in them to be able to chew through those like pork chops and chicken and things like that. It took practice, it took time, it took effort. But everybody can do that. We're not... We just can't give up, okay? You just can't quit. What I was saying about the denture fitting my top denture is because, uh, for example, uh, when I was talking about the writing with the hands, right? I write every day, believe it or not. I keep a handwritten journal. I've been doing it for 30 years. I keep a handwritten journal. Yes, I could get on the computer and keep a journal that way. But it's not the same thing. It's not that personal touch. But if I go a month without writing in my journal, as I did when I first moved down here. I was so busy helping my brother remodel the garage and everything else. I went about a month without, re without writing in my journal. And when I started again, my hand was sore, you know. Um, but my upper jaw, if I just have the acrylic against my jaw, there's two things. One, my denture isn't comfortable because it still doesn't fit perfect without the denture fit. So I tend to chew on my denture all day, which makes my top jaw sore. And feels like I've got a headache in my jaw, which in turn makes my gums swell overnight when I take my dentures out. My gums swell overnight, then I put the denture back in the next day, it doesn't fit correctly, and I have to chew on it to get it to stay in place and get it to suction in and everything else, and then by the end of the day, I have a headache in my jaw again. That little tiny thin layer of denture fit in there fills in those little voids that are missing from the denture, fills in those little voids, makes the denture fit correctly, perfectly. I, it gives me that little bit of cushion I need for my sensitive gums, and I don't have to worry about chewing on my denture and give, making my jaw sore all the time. So yes, it works great for a permanent denture, if you and you probably only need you know one applicator put it in whatever's not needed will flash out and your denture will suction in fit great again even if you have a flatter palette and you still need to use a little powder adhesive getting that denture to fit better means you will use a lot less adhesive and the adhesive will last much longer don't forget the denture fit sale going on right now for 2020. Uh, it ends February 16th. Everything in the store is on sale. Use the promo code KISS when you check out. Everything's 25% off no matter what you buy in the store. And this does not work with this subscription plan. If you're in the United States and you can't afford it even when it's on sale, get on the subscription plan. 16 bucks a month. I know that a lot of people out there say, I can't afford $16 a month. If it's something you want bad enough, 
if it's something you know can help your dentures fit better and be more comfortable and possibly be able to go adhesive free, budget yourself. There's all kinds of things we spend money on every month that we never think about that we really don't need. You don't need that big gulp from 7-Eleven every day. You don't need that Snickers bar every other day. You don't need that, you know, instead of buying a bag of chips at 7-Eleven for eight bucks, buy a bag of chips at the store for three. Put that other five bucks away. There's always a way to budget. I'm telling you, there's always a way to budget. Anyway, uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I hope you never forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up. By the way, if you're having trouble eating, please check out my other channel on the right side of this video, upper right hand corner, Dentures versus Food. I teach you how to eat. So hopefully it'll help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to that channel as well.